Okay, just checking the server cabinet. We had a problem yesterday. But we got another one today. My look of it. I'll have to check that out. Uh, up here, there was a big 96 port switch. I'll show you that in a second. We had to swap it out to 248s and a separate five port uh, fiber link coming in as well. And this is the culprit. This big 96 port switch failed yesterday after a power cut. Uh, where one of the power lines went down in the village, the actual post, I think, collapsed or, or we don't know. We don't know what happened. Someone either hit it or just rotted away and fell. Anyway, so this failed uh, on a dim. It said a dim failure. That's all we found out. Uh, we had to quickly replace it for the extra switches because uh, the premises had gone down. There was no internet, no nothing. So I'm going to put this back together again. And she'll probably change the dim if we still got it here. Did he leave it? Oh, there you go. So this is what we think might have gone. We don't know. It could be one of the modules, or it could be this. If we've got one of those, I'll have a look. And then we're going to put, I'm going to put it back together again and see if it works. Uh, and I'll replace each module and see if one of them did fail. So that's a bit of a video today. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. If anybody's interested, of course. We've got some more, we've got spare spaces for more modules to go in. We also have another one of these in another part of the uh, premises, which we can keep the spares for anyway. So if anybody's interested, it is a, come on, yeah, a pro, pro core switch, power over Ethernet, PoE, which means for beginners um, that each module, well, when you plug an Ethernet cable into it, so each, let me just show you, not the main one, but each one of these, if you plug a device in either, uh, let's say a Y wireless AP access point, which requires power, you don't need to put an injector, which is like a transformer, to put power to it, you just plug it into this, use an Ethernet cable, the RJ45, and this will power the actual AP without all the <clears throat> rest of the stuff this is the module which we don't know if that's failed or not I don't think it we don't know we can't tell uh, and that is the um, fiber connections okay so I'm going to put all these back in fire it up and if there's still have a failure or a fault I will change this out just we're just playing just playing we've ordered a new one we've got no choice the okay, first module I'm going to replace is you can't go wrong if you see the slots in the sides there. Let's get them lined up and slide it in. And then these two levers just push in. And you've got two little screws you can lock down. I'm not going to, I'm just going to replace the modules. I'll do one more for you, two seconds. Just grab one. And then we'll plug it in and see what happens. And you push it home and the levers go down okay I'll do the rest and we'll fire up and the last one is the control panel make sure that goes home right okay all the modules are back in two seconds Stay there, right. There we go, back on. Just waiting, let me check. There we go, shuts down. This is the fault, so we get a light flashing on the fault. And we also get dim. So I'm going to power down, I'm going to try that module first and change that dim in there, that memory if we've got one. Uh, and then I'm going to take all the modules out and just leave that one in and then we'll see what happens. Actually, I'll, I'll take the modules out now, I'll power down, take these modules out and try them and see what happens. 
Right, to remove them, just pull the levers. Right, it comes. Pull the levers. Right, it comes. There we go. If this works now, we know that it could be one of the modules. Why don't we think it will be? It could be the actual power unit at the back as well, the fans are working. No. Okay. So the pop, see if we've got one of these spare. Oh, it's the old type. It's been quite old. Mm hmm, I'll have a look. We might have an old PC laying around. I'll have a look. Okay, without the dim, I think the module's gone. Ah, well, look at that. We have a flashing light. Sorry. But we have green lights across the board, but we've got a dim missing. I'm going to try and find one of these memory sticks, and it could be that. Just put memory back in, see if it's seated properly. Ah! Okie dokie, new memory come. It took a while, but it doesn't matter. Actually, they were quite generous, because they sent me two, two slots, and I only wanted one. Oh, there we go. Light them in. Okay, I'm going to get the big 96 port switch lined up now and I'm just going to put this module in to see what happens. Lock it into place. You don't have to screw those in just yet. Okay, bear with me. Let's go. It's going to be interesting. And fire it up. It's still got a fault light, so it doesn't look too good. This is going for a pre test. Oh, what a shame. But actually, look. It's not the dim. Hold on. That's interesting. So we've got everything up here. We still have a fault there. So I'm going to put some modules in and see what happens. So I'll shut down. And um, that's just a... It's interesting. Okay. Okay, so this one is the fiber link. I did order the right one. But we just had a quote for a new switch. <laughs> Six grand. So we like to get this going, but we don't know how trustworthy it can be, you see that's the trouble. Once you've had a bit of a power surge. Me personally I wouldn't recommend it, but it depends how much money you're dealing with and the company you're dealing with. Okay, here we go. Let's power it back up. Mm, we've got green lights there. We still have a fault light. Let's give it a sec. Nope, I'll wait, wait and see. It's gone down. So but not, no dim lights come on. Oh, we're back to green again. I'm just going to give it a second to sort of warm up and see if it has to go through a, a pre-self test, because most switches do. Oh, here we go. Christmas tree lights doing a self test. There they go. Fault light gone out. It could be in business, you know.
So it looks like it was a faulty memory module due to a power surge by the look of it. What I might do is just leave this on there over the weekend, nothing plugged into it, and then see what it's like when I come in Monday. Looking good. Look at that. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and a thumbs up. Um, the menu mo memory module I got off eBay. It's the old type, but still works. It came with a warranty on it, so I'm quite chuffed with that. Uh, and she's looking good. I might just do one more power down and um, give it one more test. There we go, one more power up. What I would suggest, which I'm going to do anyway, um, I'm taking each module out on Monday. Um, I will be blowing with an air gun every single port and all the um, fan fins and everything on the back and heat sinks. Also, there's two big um, transformers in the back with fans on. They'll get a blowout as well and give them a big clean. I'll clean the whole unit and then we'll just leave it on test over the weekend now. See what happens if it comes back up again. Going through a pre test, testing all the ports, all green, fault light gone out. Second sequence looking good. There we go. I'll leave that menu spare memory module in here. Okay, yeah, if you enjoyed the vid, give it a thumbs up and a like. Uh, appreciate that, and we'll catch you in the next video.